What if that shaking in your hands isn't just stress or too much coffee, but your body's warning that your nerves are struggling? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Today, we're exploring how hand tremors can be a hidden sign of something deeper. Deficiencies in vitamin B, 12, magnesium, or vitamin D. I'm Ethan Foster. These aren't just minor shortfalls. We're talking about nutrients your nervous system depends on to send signals clearly, stabilize movement, and maintain balance. When levels drop too low, the results often show up in your hands. And I'm Alara Sky. Essential tremor is a common diagnosis, but it's often confused with Parkinson's. What makes it unique is that it worsens with movement rather than rest. It affects up to 10 million Americans, but many don't realize that nutrient depletion can mimic or intensify these symptoms. The nerves aren't firing correctly, and tremors are your body's signal that something isn't working. So let's break it down. Vitamin B12 is central to protecting your nerves. Without enough, you risk damage not just to the long peripheral nerves in your hands and feet, but also to your spinal cord. That shows up as tingling, clumsiness, and even burning sensations. Magnesium is equally essential. It regulates how your nerves communicate with your muscles. Deficiency can cause twitching, spasms, or unexplained irritability. And here's where it gets tricky. Standard blood tests for magnesium may not catch it, because most of your magnesium is stored in tissue, not blood. And vitamin D, often overlooked for its role beyond bones, supports neuromuscular control. Low levels can increase fall risk, muscle weakness, and contribute to tremors. It interacts closely with magnesium, too, so deficiency in one often worsens the effects of the other. What many don't realize is that B12 deficiency can trigger a condition called subacute combined degeneration. It's a breakdown of the spinal cord and peripheral nerves that causes dual symptoms. Motor problems like balance loss and sensory issues like numbness or tingling. And unlike typical neurological disorders, B12 damage usually affects both hands and feet at the same time. That symmetry is a big red flag. It's also why many cases get misdiagnosed as multiple sclerosis or even Guillain-Barre. Standard B12 tests may not detect the issue either. That's why testing methylmalonic acid and homocysteine levels is crucial. These markers show whether your cells are actually using B12 correctly. There's also the absorption issue. Some people take acid blockers or have gut issues that prevent proper B12 uptake from food. In those cases, injections are more effective than pills because they bypass the digestive system completely. It's not just B12. Magnesium levels are often suboptimal due to soil depletion and food processing. The symptoms can creep in slowly, twitching, irregular heartbeat, or even sleep problems. You might not connect them to nutrient status until tremors begin. Vitamin D plays a direct role in muscle signaling. It supports coordination, reflexes, and fine motor skills. Without it, those systems degrade. And if your vitamin D is low and you're still consuming polyunsaturated fats like vegetable oils, your risk of sun-induced skin damage increases, making natural D production harder. So, what do you do? First, start with proper testing. Don't rely on basic B12 or more magnesium panels alone. Ask for methylmalonic acid, homocysteine, and active D levels. Get a complete picture of where you stand. Second, fix magnesium levels properly. Start with magnesium citrate until you find your tolerance. Then switch to glycinate or malate for better absorption without digestive upset. It's about consistency, not megadoses. For vitamin D, if sun exposure is an option, aim for short periods without sunscreen during midday, but only after you've removed high LA vegetable oils from your diet, since they increase oxidative damage under sunlight. If you can't get outside consistently, use D3 supplements combined with K2 and magnesium to optimize absorption. And when it comes to B12, food is the first line, beef, eggs, and dairy. But if you're vegan, over 60, or taking acid blockers, injections may be necessary. 
Sublingual supplements are a backup, but may not be enough if absorption is impaired. Essential tremor itself is often diagnosed by ruling out other causes. There's no definitive test. Doctors look at family history, symptom patterns, and triggers like caffeine, stress, or fatigue. It worsens with movement, not rest, unlike Parkinson's. That detail matters. And while B12, magnesium, and D deficiencies don't cause essential tremor directly, they do trigger similar symptoms and can exacerbate it. That's why assessing nutrient status is a critical step when no clear neurological diagnosis exists. You might also notice that the tremor appears alongside brain fog, numbness, or mood shifts. These aren't random. They're connected signs pointing to a deeper imbalance your nerves can't ignore. So here's your challenge. If your hands tremble without explanation, don't dismiss it as stress or aging. Get tested for B12, magnesium, and vitamin D. Ask for methylmalonic acid and homocysteine to rule out hidden deficiencies. Start restoring what your nervous system is missing and track how your symptoms respond. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.